Over the last seven months, Israel has committed a genocide in Gaza, including those missing and presumed dead underneath the rubble. Israel has murdered 42,500 Palestinians, over 15,700 of whom are children, and leaving over 79,000 horribly wounded. Israeli forces have killed Gazans through heavy and indiscriminate aerial bombardment, sniper fire, and summary executions, making nowhere in Gaza safe, even Israel's so-called safe routes. However, ordinary civilians have not been the only victims. Israel has made a concerted effort to target and kill journalists, doctors, nurses, first responders, students, academics, scientists, and other foundational people in Gazan society. As a tool in its genocidal toolkit, Israel has prevented the entry of critical medical supplies, leading to horrendous results for those injured, such as amputations and C-sections, performed in hospital hallways with no anesthetics. The savagery of Israel's assault has not only targeted human beings, but the entire civilian infrastructure. As soon as Israel's assault began, it immediately cut electricity to the Strip, blocked aid, destroyed water desalination plants, hospitals, etc. The specific intention to destroy civilian life and infrastructure was clear, but expressions of a policy of deprivation and denial intensified alongside dehumanizing rhetoric. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant declared, no electricity, no food, no water, no fuel, and made clear why. Because Israeli forces are fighting human animals. In addition, at least 370,000 homes have been destroyed or damaged. However, Israel's destruction of Gaza was not unforeseen, with the ICJ determining that Israel's conduct in Gaza is plausibly genocidal. Israel's genocidal intent was made clear by public statements and declarations by high-ranking officials. From characterizing the genocide of Gazans as a struggle against the children of darkness, to references to the biblical Amalek. So when Likud minister Avi Dichter said, we are now rolling out the Gaza Nekba, what did he mean? The Nekba, or the catastrophe, represents the forcible displacement and ethnic cleansing of the Palestinian people, including land theft, oppression, and the denial of basic human rights, like freedom and self-determination. The Nikba has been ongoing for 76 years, with 80% of Gaza's population comprising of refugees from the Nikba, who have continued to endure Israel's most brutal policies since 1948. This settler colonial violence reached a new threshold in the form of a brutal siege and blockade, with military assaults on these same Nikba survivors, their descendants, and communities recurring consistently since then, escalating to a full-scale genocide in the last seven months. While the Nekba represents the shattering of Palestinian society, it also represents the shared consciousness of an indigenous people struggling for freedom and liberation. The Nekba rests in the collective memory of Palestinians worldwide, fueling their Samud generation after generation in their quest to achieve their internationally enshrined rights. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll explore the ethnic cleansing of Palestine during the Nakba.